Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to insert a distribution board and model, draw circuit cables and see the results in a circuit list. Before viewing the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to activate the bell to be notified of the new videos. First of all, I will insert the distribution board I have previously created in the first floor. To do so, we come to the distribution board function in the electrical toolbox. Then we select the DB01 in the list and we click on the button place symbol. I will zoom in close to the shaft and I will press and hold control over this line where I would like to insert the, the object. And as you can see, the, the board is automatically rotated. I will press and hold again to attach the, the board to the line and left click. Now I press escape to deactivate or to deselect the board. And here it is. So next, I want to connect this board to the ladder. So I will use the function cable path. Um, the cable path can run multiple circuits. So it will be uh, the path for all the circuits that I will draw. Um, I will also activate the conduit. So when we have the cables running in this path, they will be isolated by a conduit. So I'll click OK. I will move to the center of the board and as you can see the connection is recognized. To be recognized, uh, bear in mind the function use smart snaps must be activated and this function can be activated or deactivated with the shortcut number three. So left click here. Um, I will use another hotkey which is the page up to change the mounting height up and in here I will insert the mounting height of 3.2 meters. Click OK. And now I'm using the ortho mode to make straight lines like this. And I will move to the center of the ladder and left click. And here it is. It's already connected. We have a thin line because we don't have any cable in this path yet. Uh, when we have uh, draw the, the circuits, they will uh, change the size according to, to the conduit size. So left click here again. And now I'm going to move uh, where I will draw the cables from the ladder to, to the light feature, switch and socket. Um, before I want to activate the distribution board circuit list to see the list while I'm designing the, uh, I'm drawing the cable. To do so, I come to the bottom of the interface, I right mouse click and select the option distribution board circuit list. In the drop down list, I will select the DB01. Now, I will select the first circuit for lighting, as we can see here in the text column. Okay, and I will left left click, uh, sorry, I will right click and select the option draw cable. Uh, here we see the cable that we have uh, predefined. We can change the size. For example, I will select 2.5 square millimeters and I can also activate the conduit and I will click OK. So I will move where I would like to start this cable. So leaving the ladder in this spot, left click, and then I move to, to connect to the object. So before I connect to the light feature, I would just left click one, one time to make this a straight line and then move to the light feature, left click, next, 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 and then get closer to the switch symbol. As you can see, it recognizes a projected connection. So I will connect to this symbol, but in fact, the, the cable is going directly into the wall, as you can see. So I'll left click and it's connected. So I will press escape to close the function. In the connected column, we see the circuit has been correctly connected from the board to the terminals. We also see 
in the load column the the current load in the length column the length of the cable from the board to to the switch and the voltage drop and on the column cable calculation we see on the right the cable we have selected and on the left what has been calculated so for the calculation 1.5 would be okay for this circuit now i will select the circuit uh, the first socket circuit we see here so socket i will right mouse click and select the draw cable and again i will activate the conduit and i will change the size for 2.5 and I will click OK. Um, before a, a cable is connected to, to a terminal like this light feature, and I'm running, uh, I'm uh, drawing in this case other circuit, it shows this, this connection. So it's highlighted that we can create cable path at this position for this cable. So from this position uh, back, it will be created a cable path. So two circuits will be running in the same, um, in the same path. So I will left click here and I, I connect to the socket. Now we have this issue showing the information that voltage loss in cable is above the defined limit so the limit in this case that we did not see is three percent and right now we have a 3.2 so i will i still have the the function activated so i will press escape and i will just uh, no we can come here to to the circuit list and we see here the information in red what we can see here is that on the left we have the length, the calculated, the calculated length, and we have the voltage drop that we see also in the indication in the issues list. On the right, we see that DDSCAD calculated uh, four square millimeters. If we double click here, this entry in the cable calculation column, so double left click, we see here, we see here the, the results. It's calculated 2.7, but as we don't have this cable size available, it selected the, the higher, in this case, for square millimeters. So I will click OK, and DDSCAD will automatically uh, redimension the, the, the cable size. And I will double click now the length column in this circuit and we see the voltage drop has also been uh, updated so I will, double, I will click OK and the issue has been automatically removed so I will close and we can see the result in 3D we can also generate reports from the circuit list we come to the distribution board function and we go to the reports button. I will drag here. It shows the list of boards we have. In this case, I just have one. And I'll drag also the reports dialog. I will show, in this case, the circuit list extended. And on bottom left, I will select the circuit list extended. Whenever you update your model, you can generate a new report and all this information will also be updated. If you liked this video, share with your colleagues. If you have any questions or any suggestions, put your comment below and we'll get back to you. Cheers!